Fourth of July is around the corner, and I know your clients are dying to get some inspiration on their nails. We made it easy for you. Steph is gonna show you guys, step by step, how to execute the design right now. All right, guys, so the 4th of July is coming up and we wanted to give you some design inspo in case your clients are coming in with requests. Personally, um, I'm a little less literal with some of the seasonal designs. So what we're gonna do today is just some fun stars with mission control gel paint and a little bit of a glitter press using slick pour and manicure. For today's video, we're gonna do just the topical design. So I already have my nails sculpted and shaped and file finished. They are sculpted with the Young Nails Synergy Gel Concealer Pink. For the video, I'm gonna be working on my middle and ring finger. So getting started, as always, I'm gonna apply my protein bond to the surface of the enhancement, just to avoid any chipping or peeling of the gel polish or gel paints. Okay, so starting off, my middle finger right here is gonna be blue with some stars. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that Orbit Mission Control to place right here on my tile. I prefer to work on the tile rather than straight out of the pot just because it gives me a little bit more product control. So I'm gonna pick this up with my Master Gel Brush and go ahead and apply that from Cuticle to Free Edge. When I first set down the gel, you'll notice I start a little shy of the cuticle and then just kind of start pillowing the product back up that way I know I'm not coming in contact with my cuticle when I put the product down and I can just kind of gently work it back towards the cuticle area without coming in contact with my skin. Just like your enhancements, your gel, your acrylic, the gel polish and the gel paints will peel if it comes in contact with your skin or cuticle area due to the oils in your skin. So just making sure I have nice full even coverage, got my sides. I don't wanna leave too much paint on the surface of the nail so that I know I won't have any trouble with the light curing it. I'd rather do thin coats and do a couple different coats of product rather than trying to get full coverage all in one coat. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the light for about 30 seconds. After the 30 seconds is up, I'm gonna come back and do the exact same thing over again. So I have nice, full, even coverage all the way through the design. I like to use uh, a different gel brush for my gel colors so that I don't have to stress about getting some of the color up inside the bristles or down the ferrule of the brush. So just a tip for you guys, it's nice to have a couple handy, maybe one for cleanup, like an old gel brush that may be already a little messed up one for your clear or nude gels, and then one for your art. That way you don't have to overthink it. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna get it back in the light for another cure of 30 seconds. Grab that tile again and my Mission Control Fizz. One thing I really love about Mission Control gel paint is when it comes out of the light, it does not have a tacky dispersion layer. So with freehand painting over the top, it's really nice because sometimes when I'm working over a dispersion layer, I feel like I'm starting to get some swelling from my fine lines. And when working over Mission Control gel paint, you don't have that issue at all. So what I'm doing on this one is just painting stars. As I've mentioned in some of my previous hand painting videos, when I'm painting a design, the first bit, what I consider the skeleton of the design is really just a sketch and I'm gonna continue adding to it. So I'm not really concerned that some of these lines are not exactly the same, because I'm gonna come back and refine all of this after I have my shape. Also a little tip with painting stars in particular, I had someone tell me at one point that all stars are is straight lines directly across from each other. So once you connect the lines, you just wanna make sure that they're all straight and that'll keep you with a nice even star. I'm pretty happy with the size of it at this point, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling this in. Mind you, as I mentioned in the previous hand painting tips and tricks video, if you're concerned with your painting at this point and you just you like your skeleton but you don't want to mess anything up, you can always flash cure your Mission Control gel paint 
to freeze the skeleton into shape before filling it in. That way you don't have to stress about messing your design up. I'm using the Young Nails Striper brush and this is the one that I clipped some of the bristles down from. So if you're wondering, it's just a customized striper brush. You can do the same with yours using your nippers. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way this star looks. Just for to ease my mind, I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this for about 10, 20 seconds. That way I know I can continue working and not have to worry about wiping anything off. I'm more focused, I think I've said this in other videos, I like the design to look more like a wrap. So I'm not trying to cram all of my stars into the nail to fit the full scale on the nail. I like to leave some just kind of poking out so you can see that it's almost like the design is wrapping around the nail. So this was a kind of a common look for me, especially around the 4th of July. I like to just leave it as like a full star nail rather than trying to squeeze all of the matching stars into the nail, if that makes sense. Again, I'm usually visualizing where that line would be connected, kind of starting in the center. It's really just about visualizing the look that you're going for and have fun with it. It's artwork. It's not meant to be perfect. Don't overthink it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure that again just so I can secure those other stars into place. You know, I actually think I'm happy with just this few stars here on the middle finger because I am gonna have the same design on my index and I don't wanna overwhelm it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Young Nails Stain Resistant Top Coat and apply that from Cuticle to Free Edge. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the light for about 60 seconds. So what I'm gonna do now is just move on to the ring finger where I'm gonna be doing the glitter press. So I have my Manicure White 101. White gel polish tends to be a little difficult to apply. It shows a lot of mistakes and it never fails. You get it right up all on the cuticle. So a lot of nail techs tend to shy away. I really love white nails, so I don't feel like it's much of an issue. I just, again, would recommend working in thinner coats. White is a pretty highly pigmented color and sometimes the lights can have trouble penetrating through a thick coat. So just try to apply in thin coats and make sure you have a relatively even coverage. Okay, so I think this is looking pretty good for my first coat. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the light for 30 seconds. Okay, after a 30 second cure, the manicure is all good to go. So I'm gonna do a second coat. Again, just making sure that's nice and even. With a color like white, even if I'm gonna need to apply three coats, that's fine for me. I'd rather work in thin coats and get a nice even coverage at the end. Manicure is my favorite gel polish by far because it is gel mixed with pigment rather than gel mixed with polish. So it doesn't tend to wrinkle or peel like some others that I've used in the past. So Manicure is always my number one go-to gel polish. Okay, back in the light for 30 seconds. Back out of the light and I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave this as is because I'm gonna do a glitter press into this so I'm not super concerned that there is a little bit of the nude still showing through because the glitter will cover that no problem. Since Manicure is a traditional gel polish, it does have a tacky dispersion layer that's left on the surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that Slick Pour Flash and Burn. Flash and Burn is a gorgeous white sparkle that goes very well over pretty much everything, and particularly white. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my other nails out of the way so that I'm not gonna be getting glitter everywhere. I'm gonna grab my dry makeup brush, a little bit of that Flash and Burn, and go ahead and just dust that over the top of the nail. Oh yeah. So now I have this really beautiful white sparkle as well as all over myself. So I'm gonna be using my Young Nail Stain Resistant Top Coat. This is gonna seal all of that glitter in to make sure that I don't lose any of that sparkle as well as it's gonna prevent my nails from staining. This is a perfect top coat for any hairdressers or um, someone that has a job where they're exposed to a lot of dyes or colors even just you know hot cheetos or smoking or tanning anything like that as well as it's ideal for white nails because as we all know even makeup can make your white nails look dingy so the stain resistant top coat is ideal for white 
I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the light for 60 seconds, and we'll get back to you with the final look. Hey guys, what's going on? We hope you love our videos. Let us know in the comments below what you want to see next. To see more, head over here. To subscribe to our channel, head over here.